Hello, today I am reading Ripple's number seven, sorry, 985, Helpers High. And the pebble, I'm so excited. The pebble is from Marie Toole, written and shared by Marie in Delray Beach, Florida. You know I love it when um, our Ripplers submit quotes uh, that, that are actually their own words. So that's a bonus. Plus, she's an awesome quote submitter. She gives me all kinds of good stuff. And she's a Patreon peep, which means she's part of my group of folks um, who help contribute um, to make all these things happen. So yay for all the Patreon peeps and yay especially for Marie today who shared with me this quote, shine your light so life is brighter. Get a helper's high you'll feel lighter. And then the boulder is from Jane Get Goodall, shared by Scott in Madison, Wisconsin, who happens to be a Patreon peep also. So yay, double dipping. How cool is that? I didn't plan that at all. Um, and this boulder, again, from Jane Goodall says, you cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. And then of course the ponder, the part that I write, it says, I'm quite confident that most of our regular ripplers are already well aware of the benefits of unleashing ripples of compassion and kindness. We are the type of folks who figured out a long time ago that doing good for others not only makes karmic sense, it feels good. Still, it's inevitable that life sometimes gets so full and so stressful that we occasionally drift away from our good intentions of helping others, and we forget about the hidden treasures to be found while serving. The perspective shift that comes from seeing the challenges that others are facing, gratitude for the many things in our own lives that we sometimes take for granted, and the renewed sense of community that grows when we recognize we're all in this together. If it has been a while, keep your eyes open for someone else who needs a little extra help. If you've been doing a good job of helping others lately, perhaps you can keep your eyes open for someone doing a kind deed and taking a moment to thank them for their effort, efforts. It will indeed compound the helper's high. Peace, Paul. And I add a postscript, and sometimes postscripts are funny, and sometimes they're serious, I need you to listen to this postscript because I added, P.S., of course, it's important to remember that there is such a thing as too much when it comes to helping others. And we have to keep in mind that without building boundaries and recognizing limits, we put ourselves at risk of compassion fatigue or caregiver burnout. Help others in the right amount so that your helper's high doesn't cause a crash and burn. Thanks for joining me as I read Ripples for Reflection, Weekly Inspirations for Unleashing Your Best Self. If you'd like to read along with me, you know where to go, the ripplesbook.com and snag a copy. Uh, I'd also like to thank Deanna, Dave, Beth, and all of my Patreon peeps who are supporting this project and lots of other Ripley uh, ventures. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time.